talk about some of the mentors you had early on and then even mentors you have now. Yeah, I will say that probably one of my bigger, uh, I guess, failures or mistakes is not having enough mentors uh, mm-hmm. early on, right? Like not seeking out those people who had done it before. Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of times I sort of wanted to go my own my own route. Like, so for my high school, everybody sort of went to a, a state school. I wanted to go to a different state. Um, if somebody was doing something, I wanted to do something else. And so I think, um, I think early on, I would have been in a much different place if I had mentors like, uh, like I do now. So I'll just give uh, two that I thought about, you know, I'll, I'll just give an unofficial one uh, that I've, that I've gotten recently, uh, which is Jesse Itzler. I'm not sure if you, you heard his, his talk with Go Abundance, but no, I um, this guy is incredible. Uh, he started this company called NetJets um, and he's married to Sarah Blakely, which is the founder of Spanx. So yeah. you ever heard of Spanx? Small, yeah. small company. Yeah. 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 Small <laughs> billion dollar company. And yeah. uh, so I, I heard him at, a, at an event recently and, he was talking about, um, you know, for the past 20 years, every single year, he has a, a specific, uh, it's called a Masogi, a year of blank. So a year of, you know, quitting your job, year yeah. of running a marathon, year of trying to be a professional in the PGA, right? Something like that. Um, and so that that was one thing that, uh, that, that he taught me. Another thing was, um, I've got three kids. And um, you know, it balancing business and family is always is always difficult, right? Because you, uh, us as entrepreneurs, we're always so excited to like work on our business nonstop. Yeah. And um, so, one thing he was telling a story about one of his buddies. Uh, he went to his buddy's kid's soccer game. He's like six years old, and this kid scores eight goals. And he's like, "How the hell did your kid score eight goals? This is like ridiculous." He's like, "Are you are you working with them? You know, like nonstop every day?" He's like, five minutes a day." So all we do is five minutes a day. Wow. And over the course of a year, if you spend five minutes a day with your kid in some specific skill, they will be top, you know, he said top one to 5% after one year. And if you do that multiple years, uh, it compounds top 1%. Wow. So um, yeah, go ahead. No, that's just, that's shocking to me. I mean, I, I you know, you've heard the 10,000 hour rule and things like that, but five minutes a day for a year. And that's, that kind of blows my mind, to be honest. Just the consistency, yeah. I think, is anything. And you probably end up doing more than five minutes, right? So you yeah. just say, you set out the goal. Hey, I've got this on my, you know, I've got a habit tracker where I write down all my habits. And every day I check that off. I did that. So I, I made it 10 minutes. And so I've been doing that, you know, every single day. I've got three kids. So um, so that's something I took from him. Um, and I'm curious, you know, and, Dan, what what do you do with him? What are you do, spending those 10 minutes with each kid? Each kid is completely different. So uh, all three of my children are all different. One is like a mini version of, of me, like, you know, hard charger, uh, kind of alpha male boy. And so for him, he's playing basketball. So we we do uh, 10 minutes of basketball every single day. And um, he's the one where I, I struggle with the most because he'll say no. He's like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> right. And so I have to be like, OK, well, I had to come up. I had, I had to start thinking of ways to get him incentivized. And so I'm like, well, if you hit five shots in a row, I'll give you two dollars. And so all of a sudden, if there's money on the line, he will do it every single day. That's hilarious. So I, owe, I owe him twenty seven and a half dollars right now uh, is on my tab. So um, so that's what I do with him with the, with my daughter. She's just starting to read. So every single day we we read for 10 minutes and she's getting better and better. And she she's like me where she loves to check off those boxes every day. So every day she comes down, she's like, I want to check off the box that we did that every single day. And then my youngest one. um taught him how to ride his bike, tie his shoes and his letters. So, you know, when, as they get older, I'm sure it'll be kind of the same thing every day, but as they're this young, there's so many different skills still to teach them, but that's been a game changer for me. 